Hello, I'm Julie Parisi at Marinus Pharmaceutical Headquarters in Radnor, Pennsylvania. Today I'm joined by Teresa Gorman. She's here for a lunch and learn for people to learn a little bit about pediatric epilepsy. She's here today with her daughter Louise, who's about to turn 21. Just turned. Just turned 21, Just I'm sorry. Just turned 21, yes. Tell me a little bit about Louise, her diagnosis, everything that you guys have been going through. Our diagnosis started as a search. Seizures, starting when she was two days old. No answers, no answers for years. Um, during that time, she was having absence seizures, didn't know what they were. I had no clue. We were never told by a neurologist what absence seizures could look like up until she was seven. And then she had her, another ton of clonic seizures. So we spent years unknowing. Mm -hmm. There was an unknown why. Why was she delayed? Why did she not have any speech? Why was she not meeting milestones? Um, it must have been frustrating. Defeating. It was defeating because you think it might be this diagnosis, it might be that diagnosis. You're checking off all the boxes, you're going through the geneticist and it's all, no, she doesn't have that, no, she's cleared of that. It's not working, that's not what she has. So at one point in time, you just stop. How did it feel to have an answer? It was numbing. It was like, wow, we know what it is. And then you sit back and you're kind of numb at this point. You're like, what does this all mean? And then you start researching and you're like, where do I go? What do I do? But at the same token, you're still dealing with, you have an answer, but you don't because you don't know where these seizures are leading and you don't know what else is around the corner. And very limited, lim limited information on the internet and the doctors, they don't know what it is. So you're still, I almost want to say you're still riding blind. 